Now that we have the frame of the cabinet created, which should look something like this, we can start creating some of the movable panels. So the first part that we're going to begin with is uh, the large horizontal panel that would go across the bottom and act as the shelf. So to do that, we can very simply trace the structure that we already have, and that way we make sure our measurements work out. So I'm going to use a polyline, and right now I'm working over my 3D view, and I'm simply going to snap from the interior corners of the outermost legs. And I'll do a C for close. And I just did that around the ground plane there, uh, so it's a little bit easier to see. To make that 3D, we'll do an extrude. And we'll extrude this part up 0.25 inches. And then what we want to do is move this first one into place. And I'll grab the top corner and we'll snap it right here. Okay, so we can see this pink line in the top view. I could change that to a side view. And so you'll see in our cabinet that here is the shelf and then this larger part is the frame. So over my 3D view, I'm going to copy this shelf, grab it from this upper corner, and then I can move it up 13, 26, 39, and 52. We can check that out in the side view to make sure that they're lining up in the same place, and they do. To take a look at that in conceptual, it looks something like this. So now, if nothing else, we have a bookshelf. Now that we have the basic metal structure in place and the shelves, we can start creating some of the vertical panels that fall into place. So we're going to start with the rear panels, and I'm working in a front view on the left here. I'll change my conceptual 3D view back to 2D wireframe. And then in the front view, we're going to grab a polyline, and we're going to make a line that is 1 foot 0 0.75 inches tall and then goes over to the right 3 feet 9.5 inches then we'll bring that line back up using object snap tracking There we go, and C for close. Okay, so we can see that over here in the side in our 3D view. And to make that 3D, we'll extrude it 0.25 inches. And then we can just move that into place. And I will grab it from this upper corner. And we'll pop it right in there. Going to move it down. Okay. So in the front view, we can see this rear piece is lining up below that top shelf and above the one below it, right in the middle. Okay. Now we can copy this back panel. and we'll copy it straight down from this corner right here and we'll have one on the top and one on this bottom section right there. Okay, so if we take a look at that in a shaded view for example, you'll see that we have all of our shelves in place 
and now a couple of vertical rear panels that stretch all the way across. Now that we have the vertical rear panels in place, we can put a few of the smaller vertical side panels on our cabinet as well. So I am going to change from a shaded to a 2D wireframe view, so it's a little bit easier to see and work in. And then on the left side here, I'm going to change from a front view to a left view. Okay, so if we look at that a little closer, what we're seeing here is the red rear panel and then these pink shelves. Okay, so now from this view, I'm going to work in a different layer just so you can see the different color. I'll pick a polyline and I'm just going to come straight out so it's easy to find. And I'm going to make this polyline 1 foot 1.75 inches out. And then I'll come straight down 1 foot 0 0.75 inches. Back over using object snap tracking and C for close. Once we have that, we can extrude at 0.25 inch and we have our side panel. So looking at that in our isometric view, we can zoom in a little bit, and what we want to do is have it line up below this pink shelf and in front of this red rear panel right here in this corner. So I will grab my Move tool, select this, enter, and I'm going to grab it from this corner and move it right into place, right here. So in our left view, it should look something like this. So it's fitting right into place there. Then I can come in, copy, copy this orange panel. I'll grab it from the same corner and copy it to the bottom in the same place. Then, if I wanted to, I could copy both of these again and this time I will grab this corner and I can move them both, or copy rather, both of them to the other side. So now we have something that looks like this I will change it to a shaded view so we can see it a little better. I use my 3D orbit. So we have the shelves, a couple of rear panels, and four side panels in place in our cabinet.